there internets, I'm Michael and today is the 31st of October 2016 which makes it Halloween, except for you won't be watching this today, you'll be watching it tomorrow, so happy belated Halloween I guess. So it's time for another Diaries of a Newbie YouTuber and what have I done this week? Well, let's start with the week in review for videos, so back up to actually getting some videos out which is good. First there were two for this little game here, Bankers and Robbers. Now, this is an unusual game. It has kind of two different parts. So you kind of play one game and then the next in an almost legacy style immediately. But they're both relatively short games. Firstly, you have this social deduction game and then you have this race game. And in both of those, you have one team of robbers, one team of bankers. And you're both shooting at each other, trying to kill each other and beat the other ones. So that's that one. As I say, there was two videos, so there was a how to play video and then also a paid preview video. So do check those out if that sounds interesting. Then the other game I did videos for this week is I finished my Sushi Go party videos. So I had done several videos for this uh, before I fell down ill. I am still ill, as you can tell, tissues here. It's a sinus problem. I've spoken to the doctor. I'm probably going to be like this for months, which is uh, really depressing. But um, yeah, so I'm not feeling great. I'm not going to be feeling great for a long time and I'm just going to have to soldier through and try my best. So yeah, uh, Sushi Go Party, I'd already done an unboxing and a how to play. So what went up today was my playthrough video, so you can see an example of just how this does play. And also my review, if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on it, whether or not I think you should get this, Sushi Go, how it plays for two players, etc. Do check that out. Okay, so that's enough on videos. What about new arrivals this week? We've actually had quite a lot of new arrivals. Um, I will start with the first one, which is Robots Love Ice Cream, the card game. So this is actually based on a app. It's quite popular. And yeah, you are trying to fight off robots that want to steal ice cream. It's a co-op game. Um, quite nice, like the artwork, and there'll be videos coming for it soon, obviously. So that's that one. Then the next one we have was True Crime Legends. And as you can see, they also sent me a hat. So I'm wearing that. And this is all about trying to build up your family, your gang, your mob. And it's kind of got this realistic setting. So it's historic, famous gangsters type thing, mobsters from, you know, these cartels and whatnot that are in this game that you're recruiting, etc. And yeah, it's all about just being the biggest, baddest guys out there. So looking forward to giving that a try. And then the final arrival I want to talk about is these two books here. So these are the Pathfinder roleplay game paperback versions. So what do I want to say on these? Well, they're a lot cheaper than the hardbacks. That is a big bonus but exactly the same content as the hardback. So if you want something just more portable, I mean, you can see, very portable, very easily to flick through, then this may well be better for you or something to get in addition to the hardback, because obviously this will wear out, you know, being carried around and whatnot. And um, yeah, it's, it's really good. All the images are there, all the text. It is just a shrunken version for also a cheaper price. It's like half the price of the hardback, so you know if you want to get into Pathfinder and you want to do it cheap, this is a good time to do it. And it's okay, the writing's a little small, but they've actually done a really good job of keeping that writing really legible and easy to understand. And I mean, you've got this beautiful artwork throughout. I mean, recently I did a um, product view like I'm doing now on these of, oh, what was it, it was um, horror. So kind of fitting for Halloween, really. They did like a horror setting thing, and this is the beastry here. And it had gorgeous artwork throughout, and this is the same. I mean, you can see the pictures of these dragons, monsters, and stuff. It is gorgeous artwork in these. Really interesting, a really popular role-play game. And so, yeah, I'm really pleased to see that. I'm really pleased to see that it will be a cheaper entry point 
for new people coming into Pathfinder and that it's also got something for people who already are into Pathfinder with the whole portable aspect. So uh, really excited by those and hopefully you are too and you're interested in getting those or looking into them. Um, so yeah, that's it for the arrival. So I'm just going to take this hat off. I'm getting a bit hot here. Um, so what's next? Q&A. Well, I haven't had any questions this week. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back to last week's question. You see, last week I answered the question from Eric about what game I'm going to get for the next giveaway. So this kind of prompted me to then last week start doing polls, you know, looking into what's popular, what's available, what's coming up available in order to decide what game I'm going to give away next. And everything pointed that the best game I could possibly give away was Terraforming Mars. And then I was like, oh, OK, does anyone know where this is in stock? And some people gave some examples and it was like, ah, they don't have it in stock anymore. So, uh, I did manage to get hold of one copy though, but I like to give two games away and two can win that game. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. I think because it will be su such a good popular game, I probably should give it away, but should I do it as part of two can win that game? I don't really know. Now, one game that I was interested in doing it with, but I don't know that there was enough interest, and that's why it didn't get chosen, but I put it in the list was Tyrants of the Underdark, this is one I really want to try, I love the whole deck building stuff and I like area control and I'd love to see the combination of those and unfortunately my uh, local games cafe don't have a copy open to try so uh, you know it was like an excuse to get it to be able to try it really um, but unfortunately it didn't do well in the votes, in fact the next one that I could actually get, because there were quite a lot that were more popular than not not more popular than Terraforming Mars, but between Terraforming Mars and this other one. But they were either too expensive or out of stock or won't be available in stock in time reliably. And so what that left me with is Adrenaline. Now, Adrenaline was a game that I absolutely adored at the UK Games Expo. And it's also a game that keeps getting hits on my first impressions, so that's really good. Now, will it do well, the videos for this? Who cares? I get to get a copy of Adrenaline and play it again, which is really great. And I'm going to work on doing a two-player variant. I've got a couple of ideas. I have heard that some other people are working on them, but I want this to be my ideas that I've done. I've enjoyed doing that with some games before, and it's been a while since I've found a game that says it can't be played with two players, and I've managed to find a way, because it tends to always be the, the social deduction, hidden information type games, and I think this won't have that issue. So I'm really looking forward to getting this to play it. Um, I have ordered two copies, so they haven't arrived yet, but I've ordered two copies. Now, I'll definitely be giving one of those away, and it's a case of either I'll be giving one of those away along with Terraforming Mars, or I'll be giving two of those away and doing a separate giveaway for Terraforming Mars. But I haven't really decided, so I'm actually going to pose a question to you, the viewers, yet again. Do you have any opinions on this? You know, would you like to see it as separate giveaways? Do you dislike the idea of there being one giveaway with two different games because you are not necessarily interested in both the games? Just let me know in the video comments, YouTube comments, um, the... well, anywhere you're seeing me post, really. Just anywhere. Just let me know your opinions. And, of course, if you do have a question you'd like me to answer in next week's episode, do let me know. OK, so that's probably enough on that. Sorry. So I think it's probably about time that we moved on to the figures. So where are we at this stage? Well, Facebook, we've had the page going for 40 weeks and we're up to 1,861 likes. So a small increase there, not anything world changing, kind of is the way of things at the moment. Twitter, we're up to 43 weeks and 8,368 followers. So this is kind of weird because we've had a big jump on this, whereas last week we were actually down on our Twitter followers. And then we've had a bit of a jump, so I don't really know the cause of that, but it's nice to see. Uh, YouTube, we're up to 45 weeks. The YouTube channel has been going. We're nearing on that year mark i think we've got like two months a little less than two months um hopefully i will be better by then but uh by the sound of it i may not be which is a shame 
<coughs> Sorry. Uh, so subs, 2,622 subs, which is a small increase, which is good. I, I say small increase. Compared to recent, it has been a good increase, so that's really good to see. Likes, uh, no, likes, no, views. I've written likes down. I, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, views on YouTube. We've got 78,766, so well short of my target of 2,000 a month. And that's with me being much more active on the channel than I have in previous weeks. And even doing four videos, I've not had a good week on views. Um, yeah, I don't really know why that is. Uh, the videos that were getting views is the Pioneers Programme, yet again, has done really well on the views. And actually the Kickstarter for that is now finished. And it did fun, so I'm really, um, you know, well done to... Uh, GCT Studios on that Kickstarter and I'm you know really thankful to have been part of helping them fund and I'm really great and I'm really glad that the game has got funded really it's a good game um, I really enjoyed it uh, so what else um, Adrenaline First Impressions as I talked about that that got a good few views uh, this week and then otherwise it's just been the evergreens so yeah as I say I don't really know what's holding the views back um, maybe once I start to get a bit more back into speed, hopefully that will help. And it, the next giveaway will probably help. And I think I need to get some bigger games might help. But, I mean, you've seen what's come in recently. There's some interesting, some fun-looking games. But nothing that anyone is particularly aware of at this point in time. And I think if I get things like Terraforming Mars, you know, Adrenaline, start getting videos done on those, it should hopefully help the views a bit. Okay, so that will do enough of my rambling because my throat is raw. And uh, yeah, so do the whole following, subscribing, etc. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.